Welcome to another episode of NBA 2K20 Roster Edits. Today we're going to look at the Houston Rockets franchise and talk about the roster edits that need to be done with this team. I am going to say right off the bat though, there's very little that you have to do to change this team. This is going to be another short video. I do change some positions around a little bit on some of the guys, but overall there's only one roster move that I recommend and you may or may not agree with that. As I say in every other video, these are simply my recommendations. You may or may not agree with them. However, you are free to check out the honorable mentions below. There may be somebody that you felt belongs in this list and that's the beauty of NBA 2K20. You can make your rosters however you like. So starting out, you have Hakeem the Dream at center. You have Moses Malone at center. You have James Harden at shooting guard. You have another shooting guard in Clyde Drexler. You have Calvin Murphy at point guard. You have another center, Yao Ming. You have T-Mac, Tracy McGrady at shooting guard. You have Chris Paul at point guard. You have Ralph Sampson, another big man at center. You have Rudy T, Rudy Tomjanovic at small forward. You have power forward Elvin Hayes. You have Steve Francis, another point guard. Kenny Smith, point guard. Otis Thorpe, power forward. And Vernon Maxwell, at shooting guard. So I only recommend deleting one player off of this team. And before I talk too much about that, I'm going to mention that I do not have Russell Westbrook on this team yet. And this is like the Los Angeles Lakers video. I feel that he needs to play a couple more seasons with the Rockets before he is done one of the greatest Rockets ever. Now, if you want to have Russell Westbrook on your team, I would recommend maybe removing Vernon Maxwell from the team. And I will show you the person that I recommend removing. And it's not Vernon Maxwell, but it's actually Chris Paul. And the reason for that is, as you know, Chris Paul was traded for Russell Westbrook. So Paul, even though he's a great player, going to be a Hall of Famer, no doubt about it. He only spent a couple seasons with Houston. I can't consider him one of the greatest Houston Rockets ever, only spending a couple seasons there. That's just my honest opinion. And that's why I don't put Russell Westbrook on there yet. But I feel eventually if Westbrook plays the rest of his career in Houston, he will have some huge success there, then he will be one of the all-time Rockets, just like Clyde the Glide was. So, let's see who I add. Alright, so the starting lineup is very simple. You have Calvin Murphy at your point guard, very simple, Hall of Famer. You have James Harden at shooting guard. And with Tracy McGrady, I switched him from shooting guard to small forward to make him a starter. And although Tracy technically was the shooting guard while he was with the Rockets. He also can play small forward. And to get him in the starting lineup as a Hall of Famer, I think that's very important. The same can be said about Moses Malone. I don't manipulate the numbers to change him to a power forward, but I also start him at power forward. And the biggest reason for that is there's so many big guys on this team. This, this team is full of centers and big men that if you don't have Malone in the starting lineup, one of those three big guys is just not going to get any minutes. And I feel that because they're all Hall of Famers, they need to get some minutes on this team. And starting center, Hakeem the Dream, no doubt about that. You could also slot him down to the power forward position if you choose to do so. That just depends on how you feel. Well, because Moses Malone is the starting power forward, that was Elvin Hayes is the backup power forward. And Elvin Hayes, as many of you know, finished his career with the Houston Rockets, but also played it in Houston before he went to Washington. And as you can see, he had some awesome years with Houston originally, averaging nearly almost 30 points a game before he left to go to the Bullets. So he played two times for the Houston franchise. So... If you don't want Malone as a starter, you put Elvin Hayes as, a, as your starter instead. Now your backup shooting guard is Clyde the Glide Drexler. This is Drexler, uh, I don't want to say towards the end of his career, but 
he played for Portland for many seasons before he came to Houston and was a great, great player, a Hall of Famer, no doubt. And your backup center is Yao. Yao, also a Hall of Famer, backs up Elijah Wan and Malone. And your backup small forward, in this case, is Rudy Tomjanovich, who also is now a Hall of Famer. He was a great player for a long time for this organization and also became their coach. So Steve Francis is the backup point guard. Francis was probably one of their biggest stars in the late 90s, early 2000s. And as you can see, he had some very good seasons with the Rockets, you know, when he started out his career. Then he kind of bounced around a little bit after that, but with the Rockets, definitely a great player. And that leaves us with Ralph Sampson, another Hall of Famer. He doesn't get a lot of minutes on this team, but he gets some minutes. And he's the 11th man on the team, and that's where he basically is, is the backup, backup center. And this is the one guy that I added. This is uh, Robert Reed. Robert Reed was a good player for a long time with the Rockets. He played small forward. He could also play a little shooting guard if he needed him to. You could even put him at power forward if you wanted to. But Robert Reed was a very good outside-inside type of player. Very underrated. Very good player for a long time with the Rockets. So I find it necessary to add him to the all-time Rockets team. Then I round out the roster with Kenny the Jet Smith. Kenny can play point guard, but he can also play some shooting guard. And, you know, he can shoot a pretty good three if you need him to as well. So I feel if you want to move the reserves around a little bit, you can bring Otis Thorpe in. But with all the big men already on the roster, it doesn't make a lot of sense for Otis Thorpe to be on the roster suited up because he's just not going to get a lot of minutes with Elvin Hayes and the other centers on the team. Vernon Maxwell, Mad Max, great player for a long time with the Rockets. Just, I don't have him ahead of Kenny Smith. And like I said, if you want Russell Westbrook, this might be the guy that you drop and you put Kenny Smith on the reserve list. So who coaches this team? This shouldn't come as a shock to you. Rudy T. So Rudy Tomjanovich is on the roster as a player, and he's also on the bench as the coach. So Rudy Tomjanovich is the coach. Hopefully you agree with me with my selections. I only make one addition and subtractions to this Rockets team. I look forward to your comments below. Thanks for watching another episode.